Hi, hi, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you the voltage division formula and more importantly, when you'd use it. So remember we said in the previous video, in a series circuit, um, the voltage um, splits, whereas in a parallel circuit, the current splits, you don't use voltage division ever in parallel, only in series. The voltage is only splitting in the series circuit um, so that's the fundamental point to, to know. You'd use current division in a, a parallel circuit and likewise never in a series circuit. So you use voltage division because the vol voltage splits and I'll just get rid of the rest of this. All right, so let's just make up some values and solve a problem using voltage division. So say we had 5 volts here, we had 2 ohms on this resistor and 3 ohms on that resistor. Okay, and we know um, hopefully from the previous video that this is all going to be 5 ohms and the total current is going to be um, I equals V on R equals the vo total voltage which is 5 which and over the total current, uh, sorry, over the total resistance which is 2 plus 3 which is also 5, so the current here is just going to be 1, 1 amp. Now, to use our voltage division formula, we first want to know the to total voltage between these two points. Now, first of all, what is it exactly that we use a voltage division formula for? Well, if we wanted to find the voltage across this resistor or the voltage across that resistor, um, we and we have all this information, then we can see that um, some of the voltage is going to be dropped across this one and then it's going to be dropped across that one. So if we know all of these values we can isolate how much voltage is being dropped across either one of them. So, say we wanted to find this voltage. What is the potential difference between this point and this point? Well, um, V question mark, where this is the V question mark, is equal to the total voltage, total voltage times the, res the resistance of the voltage you want to measure over, so that would be this resistor here, divided by resistor 1 plus resistor 2. And in this case our total voltage is 5, so that will be 5 times our the resistor that we're trying to find the voltage over is 3, divided by our total resistance which is 2 plus 3, so 3 over 5. So in this case, we know V question mark is going to be 5 times 3 over 5, the 5's cancel, and we're just left with 3 volts. That was a bit of an easy example, so I'll step it up a bit, use some less, obs less obvious values. Say 6 volts, um, we'll say this is 9, and this one is 2. And this time we're going to find the voltage across this one here. So what is the voltage across this one and this one? And just as a side note, you should of course be able to recognize that voltage that current flows out of the positive terminal. So it's going the voltage is going to be a higher potential here than it is here because it's going to drop across there, drop across there, and come come back into the negative terminal. But back back onto our problem, um, voltage over the questioned resistor equals the total voltage, V tot, times the resistance in question over the resistance 1 plus resistor 2. And of course we just sub in the values once again, 6 times 9 over 9 plus 2, that's resistor 1 and resistor 2, which is going to be 6 times 9 over 11. We can of course just plump that in the numerator. So if I just chuck that into a calculator real quick, I am guessing 4.909 volts is going to be, that's the amount that's going to be dropped over this, this resistor. Now, just as a side, as a question, if I, if I have 6 volts of potential between here and here, and I have about 4.9 being dropped across here, how much is going to be dropped across here? Well, we know that this entire thing the drop across this entire bunch of resistors is going to be 6 volts. 
So we can already tell that um, the voltage across here, or the voltage drop across here, is just going to be 6 minus 4.909, which is going to be about 1.09. Uh, we can do that by using the formula, but it's usually in circuit analysis, it's always better if you can see it how to do it the short way. Just nifty little tricks like that. So, same same example again. Sorry if this is getting a bit messy, but there's a 9 there. Uh, I'll, I'll redraw the whole thing. Da, da, da. So we had 6, 9, and 2. Resistor, resistor voltage source and we're going to use the formula to calculate this voltage drop across here remember the currents flowing in through here so it's going to be higher here than it is here so V question mark equals V total times the resistor in question over resistor 1 plus resistor 2 equals our total voltage is 6 the resistor in question is 2 resistor 1 plus resistor 2 is 9 plus 2 9 plus 2 equals 11, so that's 11 down here, and of course this is going to be 6 times 2 over 11, which is 12 on 11, and we plump that into a calculator, we get the same result, lucky us, 1.09. So this has been a basic introduction, uh, again everything's a basic introduction at this point I guess, uh, but just an overview of voltage division. Hopefully it made sense. Hopefully you can do some practice and, yeah, really enforce the concept. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next video.